What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is JR with the JR Wisdom Channel. Once again, I appreciate you guys for tuning in. And if this is your first time checking out one of my videos, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button along with the bell. That way you receive all the notifications for all of my future videos. And with that being said, let's hop right into it. So today, guys, I just wanted to talk about, especially for you ladies, for you, for you fellas as well, it's Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers. But the most important gift you can give your child, whether that be today, you plan on having children in the future, or just in general, the most important thing that you can give your child is a father. That goes for you mothers out there, you single mothers who may be bitter, who may not be letting the child see the father. The if you're if you're a deadbeat dad out there that's not taking care of your kids because the woman doesn't want to be with you, the baby mama doesn't want to be with you, you're not paying child support, so on and so forth. You're wrong. Stop it. Stop it. And I'm going to start with the fellas first before I go with the ladies. Bro, whatever happened with your baby moms at the end of the day or your ex-wife or whatever stuff happens, we know how the court is set up for you to lose. But one thing's for sure, unless you have done some seriously bad stuff, which I'm not going to talk about on here. You have parental rights, you have father rights, you have the right to see your child. Even if you have to pay child support, man, um, it is what it is. Even if you have to go through the courts, you can save up enough to go through the courts. The biggest blessing that you can have as a, and this is, I'm just saying in terms of a father, if you're already a father, is taking care of your kids. If you don't take care of your kids, you're not going to be blessed, bro. That's the way I look at it. And you shouldn't even be hanging around other dudes who don't take care of their kids at all. And just think about that for you. If you had a father growing up in your life, you had a good positive influence as a man that was taking care of you. It probably doesn't affect you as much. But if you somebody like me who didn't really have a father, you. You wish that you had that father to be able to teach you certain things. You wish you had a father to be able to take you and mold you and give you advice and be able to toughen you up and show you what it's like to be a man. And some some people take it for granted. Some dudes still grow up, even though they got good parents and they have a good father in their lives that try to mold them. Make sure that, that you held down the household. You still go out and do crazy stuff. And still turn away from the teachings that he brought you up under. You still have you have a father that may be pushing you to be the best that you can and basically ascend to where it is that you should be at. And it's especially in, in our black community, it, it's, it's something that really affects us. And I know obviously it, it affected me uh, by not having my, even though I knew, I knew who my father was and I would see him, I never really learned anything from him. He never taught me anything. One of these things I regret to this day is not being able to use my hands. When I say use my hands, you know, my, my father was a blue collar guy. He was a builder. He was an architect. You know, he was a mason. He was able to do all these things with his hands. And like with me, I'm not good with my hands at all when it comes to those things. That's one thing I regret having to learn about women the hard way. Not having that confidence that a father would be able to give his son. Learn how to tie a tie. All these different things that is so important for, you know, uh, a father to instill in his son. And I always think back of people like uh, I'm just off the top of my head because I don't want to sit here and, you know, carry on on the video too long. I think about Customato and uh, Mike Tyson. Right. This man was in his life for what is it? Five years. I don't know exactly. Five, six years, maybe. And instilled so much confidence in this this boy completely turned his life around and instilled so much confidence into this boy who was bullied, who basically had no confidence. And he he just put all and he 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 would wake this he would wake this boy. And some of you may call it crazy and indoctrination or whatever, whatever you want to call it. That's up to you. But the fact is, this is, is one of the and whether you have your own opinion, this is one of the greatest human beings that has ever lived in our time recently. And even now, despite what he did, he's still a philosopher and can reflect and has lived his life and, and has achieved a status as a legendary status. And he's still on this earth. 
but it's other great men not necessarily saying all great men had a father figure but this is why it is so important for you to take care of your own and even if you aren't biologically it's still important i'm not encouraging anybody to be stepdads and go out and adopt but for you fathers this is the by far it's the greatest i'm just trying to think where i would be you never know. You're never supposed to say the word if, but I do sit back and think, where would I have been in life? What access to certain things? Like you have some people who have access to, to certain education, have access to certain resources, have access to so many things because they have a father in their life who basically makes it their job to hustle, like Dame Dash says, you hustle for your last name, not for your first name. You're trying to pave the way to make it better for your kids. You still want to live your life. But some 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 dudes only focus on living their life and don't really care what happens to their kids. And the kids start off already behind when you're supposed to pass down something to your kids. Not 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 all not all. And you're supposed to teach them about wealth and building and family ties and how to treat a woman and how to build a family and things like that. That's what this that's what our job to do, but a lot of us don't get taught that. So if you have a broken relationship, that's if your child will accept you at this point. I know sometimes it's hard, but the, you know, all you can do is reach out, but if you have a broken relationship with your baby mama, you're not able to talk to your child and things like that. Work on that, man, cuz they need you at the end of the day. If it's a grown man, you know, it's completely different. If your child is a grown man at this point, it's only but so much you can tell a grown man. Sometimes they have to learn the hard way. Now, as far as you ladies go, this thing, a lot of you ladies have moved on in life. A lot of you ladies may have married two, three times or gone, to, gone, to, gone through two or three different baby daddies and have had several kids, but you still hold this, this anger and this frustration against this man that you no longer deal with in that aspect. And this stuff can go on for years, if not decades. There's still grown women in their 40s, 50s, 60s still holding a grudge against their child's father. And because of the way this world is set up and the government is set up, you're able to leverage the power of the government, of the courts to essentially alienate the father from the child, even though he can use it but some men and i know from firsthand some men just don't want to deal with the court system even though it's their child they don't feel like they should have to shell out thousands thousands upon thousands of dollars just to be able to have a relationship with their child and that's that's the way this world is is messed up like that but if you really think about it are you doing yourself any favors is the, is that the reason why you're keeping them the child from them because you don't like the 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 father is this the main reason why so really sit back and think about that what damage are you doing do you really think that you're going to be blessed and the long term effects that it's going to have on your child by not having that father in their life to be able to cuz even whether you have a son or, or a daughter they both need a father that that girl may grow up being insecure looking towards to jump in any man's arm she may resort to you know sex work things like that because of her confidence and she just is searching for that in so many different men until she just walks down that path of destroying herself so just ask yourself is it really worth it so take it from me take it from other people take it from things that you see take it if you grew up without a father and is your ego and pride really that important? So this video isn't meant to be, you know, something incredible. And, you know, I just it's just my thoughts on it. And it's Father's Day and something for you guys to reflect on. So with that being said, I hope you guys like the video. Make sure you guys like, share, comment and subscribe. I like to hear your comments. I respond to all my comments. Make sure if you want to book a one on one, hit me up on Calendly. The link is in the description. Check out all my books and merch on my website, jrosswriting.com. And with that being said, peace be upon you all and the mercy and blessings of the Almighty. And I will see you guys on the next one. I'm out of here. Peace.